Hey YouTube, how's it going? You uh, might notice a slight different look on this one. Uh, I had to send my camcorder in for a little bit of warranty work. Uh, it wasn't charging all the time, so minor detail. So I'm using my uh, my digital camera. a nice unit. Um, what we're I'm heading actually shit for brains that's what's happening. I'm heading into the city. Uh, my sister from Ottawa has been in for over a week now and I've only seen her the one time because I've been feeling so shitty. Uh, I've been just, I'm not sleeping. And I mean, I'm up till six o'clock in the morning and then when I finally do fall asleep, it's kind of one of those sleeps where you're aware of things going on around you, but you can't really move, you know, so you're not deep, you're just right on the edge of falling into sleep. And I've been doing that for, for weeks. Sometimes I do sleep, but I, I'm maybe getting, oh, maybe a couple of hours a day. And I used to thrive on, on that. I used to have no problem going for weeks with a couple hours sleep when I was younger. And we'd go out partying. I would... Uh, I would have no problem going, you know, till 2, 3 in the morning, get home, get up, go to work at 6, and then every 6 weeks or so, month and a half, I needed to crash and burn for a solid 8 or 10 hours, and I could start all over again. Um, I've just been one that never used to need a lot of sleep, but now with, uh, with the MS, that's not the case. I need the sleep, but I just, I'm not getting it, and my mind is racing. I got lots on my mind right now. I don't know why this damn thing isn't focusing on me. I should put it on the, uh... That might work a little better. There we go. So, YouTube. I haven't made many videos lately. A couple of reasons. Reason one is I don't have a camcorder. Uh, my camcorder uh, is in for warranty work right now. Uh, it wasn't always charging when you plugged it in. Apparently, it's. Uh, you know, I took it in and said, you know, I think I think it was the plug on the end of the adapt. Uh, on the end of the charger that was worn out. It had like a nylon insert and it looked oval shaped to me. Um, and I tried to explain it to them, but you're dealing with a bunch of people that don't know, don't know shit. And all I wanted to do is go to the area where I bought it in this store and say, you know, can you pull a new one out of the box or something? We'll plug it in and see if that's the problem. If it is, then send just the charger back, get me a new one, and I'll, I have some that are multi, multiple voltages I could have used. Uh, so I could have diagnosed it really quick, but they wouldn't do that. The whole camera had to be sent out, and it could have been you know, weeks or a month or who knows how long. It's been a couple of weeks now. Um, hoping to get it back soon. So right now I'm using my digital camera. Into 
decisiveness that causes accidents. Wasn't sure, wasn't sure. It was clear for quite a while, then he decides to go and there's cars coming. You know, I always try to take a look and anticipate and try and be up to speed and right on their bumper just as the last car goes by. Kind of like I'm going to pick up the draft from their vehicle. Anyway, I digress. We got all the tarp off the uh, portable garage. Oh, that's a young girl, that's why. Young girls seem to be oblivious to the fact that they're driving a couple of tons of a deadly weapon when they drive. They have no concept. Not all girls. Amber's a really good driver. I would place Amber above average. And now they're ahead of me and going just a little bit slower, so I'm catching up to them on cruise control. And they're weaving back and forth between the uh, center line and the shoulder. center line. Yeah, I'd put Amber above average with her driving skills. Um, I got a bunch of stuff put away from the portable garage too, in the, in the, into my parts shed. Uh, Brad was out for the weekend and we did some stuff. Sunday. Saturday I wasn't feeling well. Um, don't mind me, I mean, uh, what are these things? Can you read that? Dried cherries. They're actually really good. You know, they're, they look like raisins. Very moist. Really, really good. aren't going to notice. So they always will look and say, well, you know, you, you look well. My sister and I have a joke. Uh, you know, yeah, you look like a million bucks. We kind of laugh at it because if, if feeling like a million bucks or looking like a million bucks means you're 100% healthy when an MS person is struggling with fatigue and the other symptoms it might be worth maybe a hundred so you can imagine just how far down you can feel actually it's not fun but that's the hand God gave me 
That's the hand I gotta play with. Um, just heading into town. My sister's been in town from Ottawa for over a week. It's her first time in since she went on her three months holidays just before she retires. It's, I think this will be her last time in before Christmas. And she only has to go home now because she has some things she has to get done. And she has a medical appointment that she can't miss. Um, so I'm going to go to my mom's. I'm going to get Christmas lights ready to put out. Um, my brother-in-law was over helping my sister. My brother-in-law is retired. My other sister's husband. Um, checking his straps. Um, and he was over, he golfs every day. The golf course he's a member at just closed down, so yesterday he was uh, bringing his clubs and home, and I guess he and my sister emptied their uh, their lockers. So he had helped put Christmas lights on the tree up by the boulevard. All, a lot of the people on the street do that. All the boulevard, you know, within a few feet of the street, every yard on, on the street has a tree, at least one. And a couple of years ago, they got together and said, you know, even if you're not putting Christmas lights out, at least put out lights on the boulevard tree. Just wrap the trunk, whatever gives the whole street a nice festive look. So they went and did that. The weather had been crappy until Saturday. Uh, we've been cold and strong wind gusts. Saturday and Sunday when I was outside it was like 10 degrees, 10 degrees, 11 degrees. Like, you know, short and shorts weather for me. Um, really it was quite Quite enjoyable. You know, everyone else had their hoodies on or whatever, but for me that's still short shirt, shirt and shorts. And even when the sun went down and cooled off, there was no wind, so I was still outside when it was plus two or plus three in my t-shirt and shorts. called the Winnipeg Bypass, but for years they called it the Perimeter Highway. 
I think the big thing with him is his crew chief, Chad Canals. I think Chad Canals is likely the most brilliant crew chief that was ever in NASCAR. Like, he just knows strategy and he has a level head. He never gets upset, so it's, it seems. And, and he always seems to be able to get the car at its best when they get down to the final 10 races of the NASCAR season. And Jimmy Johnson was, you know, he made it in, but he, now he's, I think he's second place in points, and he's not that far behind. I don't mind that he won five. Someday, I'm sure, he'll either meet or surpass Dale Jr. or Dale Sr. and Richard Petty's seven championships which at one time they thought would never be done. Well, he's got five. Almost had his sixth one last year, but that was in a row. And he's on the doorstep this year to get number six. So. Some records were made to be broken, some weren't. That's one that... Um, didn't think would ever be broken, and I I'm likely uh, have a lot of other NASCAR fans that think the same thing. But if anyone's going to do it, it's going to be Jimmy Johnson. Sorry, I'm munching away in front of your faces. Anyway, I'm just all over the map. I'm going to shut this one down. Anyway, take it easy. Have a good one.